Well, it looks like we uh, we made it to day two, which is super cool. I didn't think I would make it to day two. So there is a there is a couple things going on during this month that might help the vlogs. You know, might. Um, I do have the workout video that I need to edit. Gay is in the airsoft video that I have uh, that me and Nick just went on. There's another event this weekend that I bought tickets for. Um, or a ticket for. Not a ticket. I did buy tickets. I had to sell one of my tickets because uh, Nick wasn't able to go. I debated about going because I have so much stuff going on. So I am going to go. I'm going to take my my laser, uh, my laser tactical, like boy AR M4. Look at Lego truck. Uh, however, let's we'll see. So I've got the airsoft event this weekend. Um. Another thing happening this month is I've got, I bought a Jeep Cherokee like two years ago or a year and a half ago. Uh, I have two Jeep Cherokees. One of them's four wheel drive, the other is two wheel drive. And I bought the two wheel drive as a parts Jeep. My four wheel drive is a parts Jeep. I paid way too much money for my four wheel drive three years ago, um, which is now just, it's got to be a Woods toy. There's no no doubt about it. Um, I've debated over and over again about fixing it up and stuff. It's impossible. So it is just a wood toy at this point. We'll weld some door bars on it or something, you know, and just beat on it, just like I did. But um, I have a two-wheel drive Jeep that I bought as a part sheet. And I, I bought it sight unseen from my buddy Travis um, here's a little here's a little clip of Travis because uh, you know the Jeep it was the Jeep so here you go hi guys my name's Travis you haven't met me on Sean's channel yet but this is an ongoing project he's gonna be doing it's a 96 Jeep Cherokee he's gonna be buying this for me to bring his back to life it does run and drive around with 
I thought about doing like a pre-runner build for the YouTube channel. Just getting some, you know, the pre-runner front bumpers, some uh, like maybe some 33 1250s with a four and a half inch lift or something like that. And uh, and then you know just you know do something like that, something simple, and it looked good. And with a pre-runner front bumper, rear bumper. Donner in West Point with a couple of colleagues from work and we're going to strategize about April about April sales and what we need to do there Let me go in here and let me go in here and figure out what we're doing. One of the one of the big things that I do for uh, my job here at Yoder's is like a marketing guy. Is one of the big things I do is I take pictures and videos and stuff like that to market these like shoot houses and chicken coops and like like this right here. It's like a small chicken coop. They build them down here and. Uh, and, and buildings, of course. And we post them and, you know, to sell them online or whatever. But I do that for like several different companies, not just Yoder's because it's become such a big thing. Like there's, you know, money to be made in the marketing community, I guess you would say, marketing community, in the marketing world. So uh, we found it, we found a, a way to do it that like kind of benefits us and customers so it helps out customers because we want the we want to have the best experience with customers so um 
it's been working out pretty good. I want to, I would like to say it's been working out really well because we have like five, around five, uh, you know, people that we market for besides, you know, Yoders. So it's worked out pretty well. I gotta take pictures of this chicken coop real quick. We were gonna, uh, Cody bought a new uh, Airsoft LMG and he was gonna shoot it, but uh, he didn't have the, he didn't have the right like stuff to shoot it. Like he didn't have the right battery. He didn't have the uh, batteries for the mag, so he couldn't shoot it, which sucks. But uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna bring my M4 and some, I'm gonna bring my M4 tomorrow, Cronut, because like I told you guys, I have a uh, airsoft event this weekend. It's called Veterans for Airsoft. And you know, we're going there to play airsoft. It's gonna be like military against I actually don't know the other team. I know it's Turks and Bootleggers, that's what it is. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be there this weekend. I'm gonna film, I'm gonna try and film some stuff. I'll be there for a night game. Uh, I'll be there for a night game Friday, at least for a little bit. And then I'm going to, because uh, it starts at like eight at night. So all day Friday is like chrono, getting ready basically and then they start night games at eight o'clock and then this is like your typical uh milsim events this is kind of what they do and then after uh, saturday is like the actual milsim so you'll do the milsim and if you win the rest of the time it's just scrimmage games like team death match and stuff like that so like this last event we went to the team that me and nick were on the Russian team, we won Milsim within four hours, which is pretty crazy to uh, to think about. But we didn't win our team. 